My name is Michelle and I work for California State Parks in the Oceano Dunes District and my job title is Park Interpretive Specialist. As a Park Interpretive Specialist, um, I'm in the Education Department and we get to teach the public about our natural and cultural resources. The Central Coast and our stretch of Highway 1 is very special because I believe it contains a lot of hidden gems um, such as Pismo State Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove, and when you enter in, you're gonna see our really tall eucalyptus trees. There's one trail to take, and it'll take you around the horseshoe shape of the butterfly grove. And we have panels that'll take you around the whole entire grove, giving the story of the monarch butterflies. The best time to visit the grove is when they're actually here, so the overwintering season, which is between November and early February, historically. A lot of people ask why the monarchs actually come here to this specific site and there's lots of factors. Historically, the monarch butterflies migrate down from Canada and the Pacific Northwest um, because it doesn't get too hot or too cold here, and they're leaving the freezing temperatures of Canada where they wouldn't survive. Our horseshoe shape of eucalyptus trees provide the perfect habitat for our monarch butterflies. Their height and canopy of leaves that they provide offer protection from wind and rain. Also, our proximity to the ocean and the fog that exists here condenses and the monarchs are able to drink that. What's really cool about their migration is the monarchs we see in our grove are the super generation. And we call them that because they live a lot longer than a typical generation of monarch. The best way to responsibly view the monarch butterflies is using binoculars. And that'll allow you to get close visually without physically being close to them. Typically, if you come to our grove in the winter season, you'll see thousands of monarch butterflies. Um, what you're gonna do is just look high up in the trees if it's a cooler morning, and they're gonna be in their clusters. They can only fly if they're 55 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. So if they're cooler, they're gonna still be up in their clusters, which is where your binoculars will come in handy. Being in their clusters is important for a few different reasons. It provides them protection from wind and rain and also acts as camouflage. So when their wings are shut, they're more dull in color, looking like leaves, which fools their predators. When sunlight hits a cluster and the monarchs start to warm up, they'll warm up all at the same time and start to fly. And that's what we call a burst or bursting. The Grove is very family friendly. It's a great opportunity to bring kids in, to learn about nature, um, specifically the monarch butterflies, and just to be outside. For more information, you can visit parks.ca.gov or visit us on YouTube at Oceano Dunes District-CA State Park.